Hey everyone, Jamie's Winston is the focus of another investigation. He is, in effect, racing to a red light, but this red light is one that's going to work in his favor. It's not the blog that originally broke the story, which was later picked up by ESPN's Darren Ravel, a friend. Here's the problem. Jamie's Winston is accused of putting his autograph to 900 items of Florida State memorabilia for sale, and the claim is that he took money for this. So I apply a little critical thinking to the entire problem because to this point none's been done. This is what I came up with, and this is why I'm going to stay, say that James Spence authentication should be the focus of a criminal investigation because Todd Gurley, the great Georgia running back, has already been suspended for similar allegations. The company at focus of it, James Spence authentication. And now Jamie's Winston is suddenly the focus of similar allegations. Something is going on here. Consider this. According to a great, great, great article that was written by Miami New Times, March 14th of 2014 this year, about the autograph authentication business and a shady side, it focused on James Spence authentication reported that they go through, and I quote, 300,000 to 350,000 autographs each year. In fact, they go through so many that they take a representative sample. But get this, they don't disclose how many of the autographs they went through to determine if they were fake or not. So they could have a whole bunch of fake autographs and it not be known. On certain instances, JSA or James Spence authentication, but when a celebrity is involved, like a James Winston, will observe the autograph being written. Right? So consider, okay, I want you to, to keep that in mind. It's an undisclosed percentage according to Miami New Times. And the question at this point is, did JSL, JSA actually see Jamie's Winston sign his autographs at a trade show? Jamie's Winston told Jimbo Fisher, his coach, that he did not sign any autographs at all. So I put all this to a little test asking the simple question, how much time would Jamie's Winston need to sign 900 items of memorabilia? 900 is a lot. It takes me about three seconds to sign my autograph, but Jamie's Winston's autograph is really stylish. So I figured it takes him about, oh, six seconds. I don't think he's sitting around counting the time, particularly with that curly cue, right? So let's put our thinking caps on, right? Let's say that it takes him six seconds to sign an autograph, then another 15 seconds to go from one mini helmet to the other. Take it, you know, sign it, put it down, get the other one, take it up, get started, right? 15 seconds. And you have to factor in the fact that he's gonna get tired, right? 15 seconds, okay? So we're looking at 21 seconds. Well, that comes down to, according to my calculations here, that I have worked through somewhere in the neighborhood of 18,900 seconds or about 5.25 hours nonstop. Do you know of any human being that would sign autographs like that with a helmet nonstop for five hours? I don't, not even James Winston. Do you? So let's say it took six hours or eight hours, okay? So the other question is this. Well, there's two. First of all, not just where would he find time to do that, okay? But also, given the amount of time it takes to do that, wouldn't someone have seen him? Stands to reason, I mean, in multiple times, not just once. Because the point I'm making is that you can take one autograph and replicate it, okay? Use it as a copy. Get some experts. Forge it. You see what I'm getting at? And then move forward. This is an important matter because it could mean the end of his college football career and all his college life. There are some people who seem to want that. But the simple fact that Jamie's um, 
you see signing all of these autographs. Different people means that some one of those people is responsible for committing a crime. So you can't say it's a forgery. They can simply transfer the autograph to someplace else. And James Spence Authenticator Authenticators wouldn't pick that up. That's absolutely ridiculous. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. Bottom line, to reiterate, to shed some light on it, this is cause for a criminal investigation against James Spence authenticators, not Jamie's Winston. Look, James Spence authentication does not have a perfect track record. It once got involved in a claim that a chimpanzee wrote his own signature. They said, oh, it's definitely the chimpanzee's, chimpanzee's signature. This is a writing chimpanzee. It was later found that JSLA was wrong. I keep saying JSLA, excuse me. JSA was wrong. Wrong. James Spence authentication was wrong. So given that they don't disclose the percentage of autographs they look at, how do you know? And then the blog that where this story came from, I looked at it originally, and he just did some matches on the website and said, okay, there are all of these names, says the writer is Jamie's Winston, on the uh, JSA website. And then, of course, which attached eBay. That doesn't mean they are. He made the assumption they belong to Winston. That's the first problem. He didn't go and say, you know what, I think these might be fake. Just because someone puts something on a website doesn't mean it's correct. Doesn't mean it's real. But what's real is that you have, according to these numbering devices that they have on the JSA website, you have 900 possible forgeries out there that need to be checked. And since Todd Gurley has also been impacted, this is the same organization that's at the that JSA is the same organization at the center of that autograph scandal, this needs to be a criminal investigation on JSA, not Jamie's Winston. Stay tuned for more.